To manually pick individual peaks, choose the peak pick cursor mode here. And then simply left click in the data and release in order to pick a peak like that. Let's zoom in a bit here to make this a bit clearer. If you left click and hold in the data, you'll notice that this peak cursor is displayed at the local maximum. So you don't have to worry about being exactly on the peak you would like to pick. I'm going to zoom out here by hitting the minus key. You can also do a mass peak pick on the spectrum by clicking this button here. But notice in this case, a lot more peaks are chosen than what it seems like are present. If we zoom in along the baseline, we'll see carbon-13 satellites and some other peaks. Notice that if you switch back into peak pick mode, you see these additional lines here. And these are all cursor or thresholds for peak picking. One can adjust these thresholds using the threshold cursor mode. If you left click, hold, drag, up or down and release, you can change the threshold for peak picking. So that if you re-pick or if you auto peak pick again, only peaks above that threshold will be selected. Let's zoom in on this triplet here. If you'd like to calculate the J or the coupling constant, choose the selection cursor here and click, hold, and drag to select two peaks if they're right next to each other and hit the J button on your keyboard. Note that a new peak is drawn in the middle to give you the chemical shift in between. Let's choose another peak here. If the two peaks you'd like to calculate the J for are not next to each other, left click to select one peak, hold shift, and click on another peak on your keyboard in order to choose them. If you'd like to delete peaks or a or the center of a coupling constant, simply left click so that the peak shows up in blue and hit the delete key. You could also drag or click drag, hold and release to choose multiple peaks and hit the delete key. Or if you'd like to delete everything in your spectrum, Press the A key while the selection cursor is chosen. Have comments, questions, or requests for additional videos? Please visit our forums on the nmrsupport.jeol.com website or feel free to leave a comment on this video. Thanks for watching.